All right, so we've got a 4v4 here. And it's got three Zergs and a Terran against four Terrans. So I'm the Terran with three Zergs against four Terrans on Volcanic Ridge. And we realize that as we play four turns that it's incredibly likely we're going to get rushed and if we get rushed it's going to be a lot of marines so it's going to be a really heavy bio army and that's going to be the thing we're going to have to contend with a lot so the other issue is that generally when I play with um, Tom is our, our fourth I generally play with Gil, Tarn and myself and it generally we're playing Zerg Zerg Terran with a fourth we generally do sort of a rush strategy with some early speedlings and marines but we know that Terran has a really easy way of walling in and if you do that speedling rush you prevent yourself from taking an expansion and getting gas in the right way and you really put yourself behind economically so here the Terran are walling in basically preventing any rush so we have decided not to rush I'm deciding that for my bit I'm gonna go for early tanks and marines without any upgrades so it's just units marine 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 tank tank and um, Tarn is going for his pool Tom's going for an expansion Gil's gonna get gas I think he's gonna try to get mutas early um, but all of the Zerg are gonna take their expansions oh, we've got a scout coming in here coming up to my base again we don't get to see anything what they're doing a lot of a lot of marines a lot of marines thing is that marines are so strong we got one factory got a second factory marines are so strong that you just you're gonna see a lot of bio play out of this many terrans which you can see here we're getting speed couple hatcheries, expansions. I'm getting an eBay. I just want to have one turret in case like some, some kind of weird banshee comes in. But ultimately I'm going anti-marine. And they're going a lot of marines, a lot of stim, a lot of combat shield. They're basically trying to get out a heavy bio army with a little bit of something else. You got one tank coming in. You got some hellions for some harassment. But it's predominantly bio. Tarn has got map control, I mean, map vision here, here and here with his lings so basically we have good map vision and uh, here's Tarn's expansion 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 so we're expanding they're not here come four hellions they're, they have taken none of their expansion and that generally means we're gonna get pushed pretty hard with either an all-in or a uh, or just a really heavy push. So, we're pushing them back. Here comes the push. So you see here a drop. Pretty strong medevac drop full of marines. Now you've got one, two, three players all converging. Three out of the four are pushing on our side. My marines get taken out. They move up. Siege up in position and try to basically come at me and Tarn's me. I've got three tanks, a bunker, supply depot, wipe out most of their force, they continue to push, my tanks continue to crush, we hold. These tanks can't go anywhere, they can kill my bunker, but that's about it. All my bio is down, but I still have three tanks supporting. 
Here comes a second bio army. Spine crawler's getting taken out. This drop picks up. It's done quite a bit of damage. Muters are incoming. Skill's gotta keep these alive so we can only hit the tank little by little. Gets these tanks. Two tanks are down. We've held the first push. Basically, they're doing damage on Tarn's natural, but they haven't gotten into his main, and they've expended a ton of resources. All four players are pushing on us, and they've not broken us, and all they've done is kill a couple workers, and they're taking out Tarn's expansion, which he can remake. But for all three of four players to push and do that, it's pretty good shape. Here come some Banes. Here come my Marines. Here come more uh, Mutas. That drop, that single medevac drop, now becomes a two medevac drop. Really good harassment here. Again, none of them have expansions. There's st none of them have. He has. He doesn't even have uh, an orbital yet. Way behind. Here comes an expansion dropping at the moment. Here comes another expansion dropping. But these are extremely s delayed. So now we have mutas and some lings came in to clean up the last bit. Expansions have to be remade. Expansions have to be remade. I've dropped my expansion. I'm going to drop a bunch of mules. So my income is going to skyrocket as soon as these guys all hit. I'm jumping up to almost 1500. Getting extra gas. Bermuda's come in for some harassment. More lings. More harassment. Taking out add-ons, doing some damage, getting some medevacs, really good harassment, not taking any damage. As you can see on the mini-map, there's another big force coming. And the, our, our, uh, and our opponents are doing a lot of marines, upgrades, a Thor, more stuff. I'm doing tons of marines, marauders, tanks, all my upgrades. I'm getting plus two, plus two, I'm getting stim. Getting everything I can. Another big push is incoming, and we see it on the mini map. Oh, we don't see it on the mini map, excuse me. Another big push. We're taking down the wall. Here it comes. All three players. One, um, three of the four, I should say. One, two, three, four. Sieging up, coordinating attacks, taking out an expansion. Really solid play by these guys. Marines, Marauders, tanks, medevacs. Here we come. Coordinating our attacks, saying, okay guys, it's time. Marines, Bane, tanks. Pushing them back. Sieging up. After those Banes come in and do quite a bit of damage, I've, I gotta hold the line because I'm the last line of defense of all we've got. Those Banes did massive damage, but this is it. Stim in, get that tank. Hold the line, come back. Let the rest of my tank siege up. My tanks are incoming. More Banes are coming, they're gonna do another push. Here it is, boom, Bane. Widow mines get taken out by tanks. Stim Marines come in, just finishing off the last little bit of this push. Take out those medevacs. Very high value targets. Here come the mutas. Get those medevacs. Ooh, yeah, they're in full retreat again. Another push deflected, barely. 
in the production tab. Um, in order to keep rebuilding, I've got my 2-2 almost finished, 9 Marines, a Marauder, Tank, Medevac coming. Right now they're producing a little bit, 7 Marines here and there. You look at the Army value, uh, Mick Assault is doing pretty well, and Steven Seagal is doing pretty well, as am I. And the rest of our units are being produced. Zerg is getting more Mutas, more Lings, Infestors. Here comes another push. It's like non-stop pushing. Basically, I need to hold them off. I know our units, our Zerg, don't have units yet. So do some damage. Massive push, holding them, holding them. Here come the, the Banes. Tank fires coming in. More Banes. Wiping them out. Tanks taking shots. Thor's getting hit. Bio getting hit. Everything's getting hit. More Marines and Marauders come in. Booyah, they have to pick up and move out. Let's back that up one quick second. They wanted to get these tanks down, so the uh, Turb picks up all of his units in his middle back so they don't take Bane damage. He tries to drop on, on my tanks. I stim my Marines, protect my tanks. One tank goes down, two tanks go down, that's it. Everything else dies, all my tanks are alive. And I've still got a bio force and the tanks to support another push. Stopped. Tanks and doors dropped over here, trying to take out another expansion. Another expansion is not taken down, it survives. This expansion is going to have to be rebuilt. There's more harassment with the mutas. At this point in the production tab, we have our players getting for plus three, plus three. Only one of them and Marines. I'm getting a third command center. We've got other players going for Vikings. Uh, other upgrades, some more barracks, more production facilities. We're trying to get out more lanes and veins, getting our upgrades, taking out more medevacs. Gil's doing a great job of harassing while well, we regroup. We keep pushing back these crazy, crazy pushes. I'm getting my plus three, plus three is almost done. Gil takes some heavy damage running through these turrets. He's done a significant amount of harassment. And in the army tab, all these guys are trying to get more. And we're doing pretty good. I've just I'm continuing to produce non-stop units. Nine Marines at a time, a Marauder, Medevac, all my upgrades, non-stop production of units. I'm sieging my tanks out here, getting more supply depots, protecting my third, sending my bio force out. Right now I've got so many harvesters here, I need that third down so I can get my units over there. Another drop. This is a 4 medevac drop. Constantly putting on the pressure. They are just relentless. 4 medevacs dropping on Tom's base. Tons of links come in. Trying to do what they can. More lings come in. Tarn's actually responding faster than Tom is again, protecting his own base. Here come some Banes. And the rest of them cleaning up. Medivacs have to get out of there. Did not get the expansion. We're really starting to stabilize here. They need they look at this, they have to long range expand. They they've been dealing so much putting so much attention on their pushes that they're really not capable of of getting all their expansions done at the same time. So I've got a pretty strong bio force building six marines at a time. I'm going to send some tanks down here, secure this base, you to harass, taking out a bunch of workers, says on down to 22 workers. Here's a pretty big force of Ling, Bane, and I've got all my Marine Marauder Medevac and Tank. Got my guys on my commands on my command center. 
It's a planetary. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take out the expansion and get out as quickly as possible. Do a scan to make sure no, no mines. Let the Lings and Banes come in and do damage. And now as soon as their force starts to come together, my tanks are siege. Here comes my bio, finishing them off. Don't need overextend, they've got a huge force up there. Command center and all its production facilities go down. And let's get out of there before th their gigantic force comes and pushes on us again. Another expansion on our part taken out, so we're starting to hit them pretty hard. And if you look at the other base, there's nothing there. The Mutas have done massive damage, so we've crippled one of their players. Our players have all taken hits, but we're doing really well. I'm still producing Marines and Marauders, getting my upgrades. I've got crazy production facilities. I'm maxed out at 200, 200. I've got plus three, plus three. I've got tanks. In the army value, I've got 7,000. Everyone else is below. We've got a 45 and a six, and our players, our Zerk have kind of low values, but they've got high, um, good, they've got good energy units in the sense that their Banes can do massive, massive damage to a bio army, which is what we're fighting against. This is going to be a gigantic engagement here. All of their forces, all four players, against basically just me, and then some Mutas, but I have to hold until all the Banes and Wings come in. Tons and tons of units come in. Microing back. Taking shots, Bane, one more time, let's take a quick look at that. As I micro back, the Bane stream through, so I stim up, take the shots, step back, let the tanks get into range, stim, take a step back, kite, all the Banes run through. Take out the first line, my Marines take out the second line. They decide they're going to come and drop again. My Marines are crushing this army. And now it's over. They do not have enough. Even my tanks aren't necessary. I am just pushing in. I am continuing to boost 10 Marines from water, getting more upgrades, wiping out this army. There's one last drop at this base right here. Again, another drop as I go in and mop up. This force are trying to take out an expansion. It doesn't matter. It's not even the core main base of the Zerg. Here come some Mutas, and there's going to be some Lings. It's important to time the Lings and then the Mutas together. Here come the Lings. Oh, the Mutas are going for the second grouping and all the Metavacs. At this point, the bio is about to push in. Tom's got, who didn't have much army through most of the game, he had a couple Banes. He was kind of maxing out really slowly. We eventually has it, but it really came a little bit too late. It was mostly um, Gil's mute and harass, um, perfect timing on the wings and veins, and then my massive, massive army crushing through, still maxed out, great upgrades, tank support, Marine Marauder Medivac pushing through. Massive hold after massive hold. I believe this is the game. So if you look at the performance, Tom had an incredible amount of unspent resources that he really should have been creating units or creating production facilities with, getting upgrades as well, he didn't. So he was definitely the weak link on our team and in the overall game. Um, in the score summary, this was definitely my best 4v4 game in a, quite a while. I had the top score and just an incredible amount of production, great upgrades, solid holds, holding off time and time again. And Tarn also did some amazing work getting his Banes out, getting the Marine, uh, getting the Lings out, getting some good upgrades, and then eventually pushing to higher tech when we needed it. Um, Steven Seagal and Mick Assault, all and Turbs all had really good games, pushing one after the other, drop play, just hitting us with everything they can. And Gil, his army, his values aren't that high, but he did an incredible amount of damage with that Muta Harass. And if you look at the graphs and the workers active, it's pretty even. We did, of early on, we were ahead a little bit, and then we eventually, I mean, we basically pushed out their expansions and prevented them from getting their workers from working. And if you look at the resource collection rate, you know, again, it looked similar 
but in the end, with our harassment, with our holds and our cost efficiency over and over, if you look at the army value here, I mean, mine just kept going. Theirs kept peaking and hitting, peaking and dropping, peaking and dropping, peaking and dropping. We just kept holding with our banes, the bio army, and the tanks. Hold, hold after hold after hold. And if you look at the units killed, in the kill count, Tarn had a gigantic 252, and that was mostly with Danes and some Lings. That's just enormous. And then the only one to top that off is me with 258. That's with my bio tank hold after hold. Mick Assault, Turg, Steven Seagal all had really good um, unit kill counts, but again, their cost efficiency was way lower. We held the defensive position. We timed our units. We timed our attacks. I mean, our defensive uh, pushes in coordination and barely held off all three of these players pushing at the same time as well as drops actually I believe one of their players a few of their players were pretty good but I believe one of their players was uh, diamond and gold Platinum in team play, silver. Master two times achieved, platinum five times. So this guy was their best player, and we did a pretty good job of shutting him down. Diamond and gold. A really good coordinated assault on their part, though. They definitely play together as a team.